Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, as you know, some of the messages may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, there's a link under the uh, video here in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram, House of Virgo. I have a new deck that is coming in that I will be posting on Instagram very soon, but go on over there if you have Instagram and give me a follow. And then you'll be able to see the uh, other messages that I'll be giving you guys strictly for Virgos. All right, so let's take a look. Past, present, and future. Past position, the Hierophant. Page of Pentacles and the Death card, okay? Present, Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and oh, the Ace of Pentacles, and the future is the Devil, the Four of Swords, and the Six of Swords. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Nothing bad, nothing bad, nothing bad. We do see um, Taurus, Scorpio. Capricorn here on the table. So if that resonates for you, take it as it does. Um, past position. So there was some kind of a committed, conventional type of relationship perhaps that you were in in the past or you were married uh, or this person was in something. You may have received a message from them in the past that they were leaving that relationship or that particular connection with whomever you know they were committed to okay um, or for some of you they expressed that um, they were a widow I'm hearing are they um, you know that person might have passed away which is very sad and condolences out to your person um, but let's take a look. Let's dive a little bit deeper here. There may have also been um, communication from your person that they were interested in uh, getting into some type of um, very strong relationship with you. Uh, they may have communicated this to you in the past transforming the connection. Some of you may have received like they sent you a gift or maybe some money or something. There was like something that they gave that was like tangible evidence. Okay, the seven of swords. Yeah, for some, this person was running away from any type of commitment. They might have just been staying with you, but kind of not really committing to anything with you. A lot of communication perhaps about money or finances and um, for some reason, um, there might have been some sneaky behavior. And then I feel like in the past, this person just maybe ended it. Or maybe you did. Somebody here did. And maybe there might have been like this moving on, like somebody just decided to put an end to a relationship and just move on. Let's take a look at the Page of Pentacles. Okay, three of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person, whomever you were connecting with, maybe they were sneaking around on somebody and they may have communicated to you that, you know, they were trying to expand. <laughs> you know, maybe they were just looking to see what else was out there, which, you know, if you don't know that that's what they were doing, I feel like they were kind of like, they wanted, it was like this communication where they wanted to be with you, but then they weren't trying, they were keeping, they were looking around as well, just to see. Let's see what the death card has to say here. Okay. Hmm. They weren't willing to change their lifestyle or their life. Okay. I feel like this person, they wanted, like, it's like they wanted to, but it came across in a very immature way with the Page of Pentacles. 
I feel like they had hopes to try to make something happen or make something work between the two of you, but it just seems like maybe they were sneaking around on you or um, just being deceptive in some ways, maybe lying or, you know, you can't be in the Hierophant and have that Seven of Swords at the same time. I mean, that's a clear message to me because the Hierophant is all about like conventional relationship, a structured, committed type of a relationship, you know, like under God, that kind of thing or whichever. And but then that Seven of Swords is sitting there and it's like, I feel like it was a behind behind the back kind of maneuver. And these are conflicting cards, you know, communicating, offering something to you, but then looking out to see what else was out there. And even these, you know, communicating with you a lot, maybe making, they made plans or travel plans or coming to see you, but then walking away. Very, very conflicting energy with this person. A lot of like emotion, like a roller coaster kind of thing in the past maybe telling you they wanted to be with you. Yes, they want to be with you and then leaving the relationship or just with the death card, just putting an end to it and then coming back and then it ends and then coming back and then it ends. Too much for you, Virgo. I feel like it was just too much inconsistency and you really didn't know where you stood with this person. In fact, you lost sight of where you stood with yourself with this, okay? So the current energy, you know, I feel like this person's watching you, looking to see what you're doing, who you're talking to, if you are talking to others about you right now, can be a card of gossip. It's very curious, very curious, and yet hesitant. It's kind of like, when I look at him, I kind of feel like he's standing back and he's being, he's like hesitant, he's standing back, but he's still keeping an eye on someone. It's almost like he's like the watch guard, you know? He's got his walls up, he's kind of standing back. Some of you may have just decided, okay, well, if this person's gone, you're gonna be gone too, and you weren't gonna chase after them. I feel like this person wanted their cake and eat it too, and to eat it too. And um, I don't know if you do something in the present, you offer them maybe some kind of new opportunity, but they're also looking, I feel here presently, looking to see if you've moved on or if you have other opportunities. Okay, looking to see if like what's going on with you. That's what I really feel like is happening here. Like, um, you know, is, is, is Virgo like, Virgo's, you, you must be doing better in some way. And they're also thinking too, for some, that maybe they should come back in and try again and offer you like the golden egg for what it is that you want, right? But I'm gonna pull some clarifying cards just to see. Let's see, what is this Page of Swords energy here for Virgo? What's going on with this person? Hmm. Nine of Cups, yeah. You're a wish come true for them, Virgo. I know that sounds so cliche when we do our readings here, but I feel like that you truly made this person happy. I don't feel like it was anything really that you did. I feel like it was their hesitation, in and out energy. And I feel like whenever they reach back out to you or connect with you, it has more to do with their emotions for you. Their, you know, how you make them feel, okay? You, you bring them abundance, you make them feel good physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know? And I feel like um, they're watching to see if you're getting your wishes fulfilled during this time. Let's take a look at the Nine of Wands. Why this hesitation here? Why these boundaries? Uh, because you're not talking to them. You're not really communicating. You withdrew your energy. That's what's happening here. Some of you just said, you know, this. you didn't want to deal with this anymore. It's back and forth, in and out, sneaking around. 
committing and then sneaking around or just saying, giving the impression and, and communicating with you about things that they, you know, always ideas, like always like, yes, going to do it. Yes, we can do it. Yes. Giving you like false hope, but showing you in a lot of ways that that's something that they wanted. And then, but then looking elsewhere, I feel like this person might have been doing this with other people as well. Not with an intention to actually cheat unless you know that's what they were doing. But I feel like they, they not only were communicating with you, but perhaps, you know, throwing their fish bait out into the water to see who else would bite. And that, I feel like that's why they really couldn't fully uh, commit to you because... Unfortunately, it seemed like they were keeping their options open, yet you're everything for them, okay? The other reason they're holding back is because they have a hard time to speak. That's what the Four of Swords is. They're always isolating or in solitude. They have a hard time to communicate. And this can be a very passive energy as well. They just withhold. So why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Virgo? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? <laughs> the Four of Cups. This person does want to reach out. They do want to communicate with you. They do want to offer something to you. They're waiting for the right time. But they're also very hesitant. They want to give you like a surprise reach out. You know, that, be wary because they might try to like sneak up on you. <laughs> with a gift or a surprise or some sort, but they also are worried that you're not going to accept because they're not just coming in with the Page of Pentacles. Now they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. This is like a whole new beginning with like a whole lot of proof. Okay. Look at this. You see the difference in these two Pentacles? One was kind of dim, yellowy, orangey, just little. As a matter of fact, like I said, it was all just ideas or concepts. He's not even holding that pentacle. He can't even hold that in his hand. I don't know if you can see it. Look, it's not even touching his hands. They're all just preconceptual ideas, like up in the air, thoughts about what we're going to do, these plans and stuff they would say. <coughs> but this one's definitely in the hand. And they're not sure you're going to take an offer or you know want to have a new start with them and Virgo you might just be like well of course I mean seems like you it's I, I'm not really a hundred percent sure what you're gonna do because I'm really just looking at this person I can ask you know what what would you do if this person or what should Virgo do this person, you know, tries because I, I really feel like whatever else was out there for them was not satisfying enough. Okay, Virgo, you got your own card, the high priestess. You're like keeping your mouth shut, not saying anything, trusting my guides, my angels, God, <laughs> standing in my like masculine energy, focusing on my work. Oh, you might have somebody else. New could be a King of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or, you know, it's this person, or you have another Earth sign. You might have two choices here and not know who to choose. You might be currently talking to someone, and then this past person that might be for some of you, they're suspecting that, and they're looking to find that out. And they want to offer and come back in with something bigger than you know, actual proof of all the things that they said they were going to do. But they're not sure that you're like presently going to be even interested. You might be keeping a secret that you're dating other people or you're talking to other people. Three of Swords showed up in reverse. You're, you're on this like healing path after heartbreak of some sort. Now let's have... So this, this future energy here... The devil is here. And then the four of swords, six of swords. Why is this devil here? Okay, page of pentacles again. Oh. 
Mm. You know what? There's jealousy going forward. This person is like, they're mostly wondering if there's somebody else. I mean, part some in some ways, they may be trying to reconnect with you to try to come through and offer something, but they're not sure if if it's going to work on you. This I don't like to say work on you because it's it could very well be manipulative energy, but they're not sure. You know, their their thought process is: should I come in with something bigger here, some some more proof? But they're not a hundred percent sure about that. Although I feel like there's jealousy here. You're going to get a message from them going forward. Some type of communication to start up some kind of communication with you. You know, that page pentacles is, again, all the thoughts and ideas. And hey, look, look what I'm thinking. Guess what I got? You know, but what sits behind it is this devil. This person's obsessed and they are envious and jealous. They don't want to lose you to somebody else. But... I don't know that you are confirmed in your heart that this it's over, but I feel like you don't want to be in heartache anymore. Um, and you're trying to get into this healing repair. You know, I just see that there there's this person and one other, or there's this person and two others. It really just depends. Um, let me take a look here. Why is the Four of Swords here? They're going to try. And then they're going to wait to see if you respond. Because remember, I feel like you are in this high priestess energy. You're keeping quiet, keeping your secrets. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. And I feel like they're going to try to reach out to you because they're obsessed with you. Or, or they just don't want to let you go. And I feel like... Um, after they reach out, they're going to wait. That's what the two of wands is, waiting to hear from you about some plans or a decision or a choice or something that they say. But they're going to wait patiently and quietly. They're not going to push. They're going to respect you. What, you know, if you want to return. And then the six of swords is here. So that could either be if they don't hear from you, then they're finally going to move on. Or if they do hear from you and it's good, then they'll be willing to make that transition. Show me the Six of Swords, please, for Virgo. Ace of Pentacles again. <laughs> if you take it, what they offer, I do feel like they're going to make the transition to make some kind of changes or whatever changes need to be made in this relationship. You know, relocate. This could be moving. Um, the Six of Swords is like dropping our fears and going towards the light. Getting out of emotional instability. So Virgo, I feel like you're keeping your options open just in case. Now you've got the King of Cups here. So we've got three Kings, the King of Swords. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Let's see if we can get another King in here. Yep. And the Emperor. I knew he was going to show up. Don't you guys? Come on. How many times does the Emperor show up in these readings? Always. Okay. It, it seems like almost every reading. Virgo, you? So you guys... <laughs> I mean... This could be one person coming in with these three elements and some fire, Aries, uh, but bossing up, okay? Or you've got three or four people, <laughs> Virgo, that you're not saying anything about or you're not making any decisions. You know, this is the future, so this is going forward. Um but one of them is going to come in, definitely, no matter what sign they are, standing in this emperor energy. Like, this is top notch. This is the one you're looking for. You know, and you might be comparing as well to see, you know, who brings in, who touches your heart, who comes in with stability, who comes in as a good communicator, 
you know it could be these three elements that you're looking for in this person it could be this person or somebody new right but the main theme is like no more arguing that three of swords in reverse is apologies recovery after loss okay physical healing okay so there i do feel like an apology is going to come in but you're not moving you're not budging you're keeping to yourself in typical virgo passion, uh, fashion until you get the answer that you need until your gut tells you what you want to do i do feel like this person will reach out to you they are going to come in and try but i feel like they know that if they come back in and try they're not going to be able to come in with just this pagey stuff they are going to check in on you again with the page in some immature energy they are going to check in and message or text or call or send you an email or whichever however you talk you could just be seeing each other on the street or wherever because they don't want to let you go but they are going to come in like that if you don't respond they will move forward and just it'll be done but if you do i feel like they're going to come in and and you know truly give you like the full bounty that you're looking for you know there's the doorway that's almost like a giant key there to both of you to walk through this these arches here you know it's just walking through that door together the key to their home for some of you interesting energy all right virgo let's take a look and see what your tarot your angel wisdom messages are here okay yep you've got the four wind insights that come from meditation the need to take a rest or take a vacation allow yourself more time before making a decision virgo mental exhaustion you may need to get some more sleep in this picture she's taken off her suit of armor here and she's just buzzing with the light <laughs> trying to just get some rest gain some clarity figure out what she wants to do what else does Virgo need to know? Virgo, Virgo. All right, you've got the, okay, three of swords here. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing, misunderstandings, being there for those in need, okay? This person comes in with the full thing. I feel like a lot of you would be willing to try and heal it, okay? But you need a little time you're not going to rush back into something that has just been like most people are not going to get on a roller coaster if the wheels are broken you know and the wheels have been damaged well they will but it's they're gonna it's gonna need to be repaired with love there needs to be love love heals everything okay and as i was saying that page of cups is here virgo sensitive open-heartedness inexperienced moody true new love messages regarding a relationship new emotional experiences a romantic encounter is coming a social invitation or event and your heightened psychic abilities Definitely, you need to really focus on your um, your intuition, but the heart, the heart chakra as well. Okay, let's get one more for you, Virgo. It's interesting, this reading just really ties in with these cards. Please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Six of Cups. Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of someone or a romance from your past, and romanticizing how things used to be, okay? So as you guys know, the Six of Cups can be a reconciliation, of course, and a reunion, an innocent reunion. So I do feel that you do have this person is going to try to come back in and really do it right this time and you you know you may have 
for some other options that you're not ready and you just want to date others to see um, or you're in the midst of healing while this person comes back and you may feel like okay I need to see this person that they're going to come in with a match the effort like whatever you're putting in right um, hopefully it's love <laughs> effort that you're putting in and not criticism or anything like that um, and that you guys will be able to work out your uh, differences or whatever issues that you've had in the past but for some of you like I said you may just say you're going to take your time trying to figure out if you want to go back that way or just keep healing and moving forward all right Virgo so that's your message I hope that that was helpful um, and again I will see you tomorrow for the next reading and you can also go over to my other channel Moon Pie Tarot if you're interested in getting other Virgo, I do, I do 10 day readings there. And I also have a playlist that's up for the next three months from right now and three months going forward. So if you want to check that out, you can also look at how your summer's going to go. That's a love and general reading. All right, Virgo, I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.